Hello and welcome to this new video on all smart repair. In this video I want to show you how to change the charging socket on your Samsung Galaxy S20, S21 or also S22. In this case I am using the Galaxy S20 but the procedure is pretty similar for all models so you can use the video for other models too of course. Also for the Ultra or Note models. For the repair I use among other things my 30-in-1 repair kit which has this nice 6-in-1 screwdriver in it, a scalpel, a plastic spatula and also many other useful tools to do this repair. If you don't have the confidence to do the repair yourself, you can of course contact me through mail, then I can do the repair for you. You will find spare parts in the description of course, as well as the tools I use. First of all, we have to remove the back of the device in order to open it. The back is glued around the edges and has to be heated so that the glue softens. You can use a hairdryer, a hot air solder or a hot plate. I will use a hot plate. You heat the whole thing up so much that you can just touch it with your finger and then it's perfect to remove the back. As soon as the device is warm enough, we now take the scalpel and carefully place it sideways between the glass and the metal frame. As soon as we are in between, we take a plastic chip or plectrum and place it at that point and put the scalpel to the side. Now we pull the plastic chip carefully around the frame once to loosen the entire glue. Work really carefully here, so that you don't break the glass. If the glass is broken already, of course you don't have to be as careful and you can simply replace it with a new bag afterwards. That will work too, of course. As soon as we are around, we can carefully remove the back. Now you can see the inside. Depending on how good the glue is or not, you'll have to see whether you replace it or simply use it again later. I will now place the back on the heating plate and then I will see how good the glue is. Otherwise, I will of course simply replace it later with double-sided adhesive tape or another adhesive. Or of course, you can simply order new adhesive stencils, but you have to be careful with the copy stencils. They are really bad and don't stick properly. In the next step, we now have to remove the charging socket. To do this, we have to loosen the five screws in the upper area of the metal plate here in the first step in order to be able to separate the battery connection. We have to use the crosshead bit to do this and we have to do the same thing in the lower area of course. Here we also have to remove the screws and to speed up the whole process I will use my electric screwdriver here, which I like to use a lot because I naturally do a lot of repairs. Among other things it also has a torque. I will also link it below. Once we have loosened the screws, we take the plastic spatula and carefully go under this cover and loosen it. You can put the module of the upper area aside and now loosen the battery connection. Why do we disconnect the battery? Well, it's simply so that no more electric current flows through the board and you can't cause a short circuit or damage it so quickly. 
In the next step I take the scalpel again and carefully go down sideways and lever the speaker upwards from underneath. We then have two flex cables again which we disconnect with the plastic spatula and then three screws that have to be removed. These screws are of a different length to the other ones that we have already unscrewed, so put them on the side so that you can see later which screws they were. That's really important. Now I take the plastic spatula and lever out the old charging socket. And then I take the new charging socket, which is an original part, from a demonstration unit. Of course you can also buy new ones, but these components here are as good as new, which is why I like to use them. Insert the charging socket and push it into the slot in the lower area. Now the whole thing should settle properly. Then reconnect the flex cables and reconnect the battery in the upper area so that we don't forget about that later. Now we take the three screws and screw the whole thing back together. Now we take the cover again, so we put the speaker in the lower area right here and next up the wireless charger as well as NFC sticker. In this area there is a connector that we must press on. Oh no, in this case it's not a connector, but depending on which model you have it could be. Here it just has to lay on there, therefore you don't need to press it tightly because it will be fixed with the screws. And now we screw the whole thing back on completely. As soon as we screwed everything back together, we push from the top to the bottom to fixate the glue and then we are done with replacing the charging socket. All we have to do now is glue the back together again. I'll start the device for a moment so that you can see that it still works. To glue the whole thing together now, just take a look at how good the adhesive is. For me, it's still completely intact and still sticks really well, so I don't really have to replace it in this case. Otherwise, I would recommend that you simply use double-sided adhesive tape and apply it either on one or two layers on top of the other, because you always need a certain thickness so that the backside lies properly and doesn't come too close to the camera, for example. And furthermore, I will apply some T7000 on the corners and also put a small dip on the screws so that they sit properly again. I don't actually need to do this, but I'll do it now for demonstration purposes. And you can of course also put this into the threads, but it's easier this way. If you don't have a torque screwdriver, then it would really be better to seal the screws again because otherwise it can happen that the screws become loose over time due to falls and vibration and of course you would want to avoid that. So now we take the bag, put it back on, press it everywhere and then we are already done with the repair of the Galaxy S20 or 21 or 22 depending on which model you have and for which model you have used the repair or the video. I really hope you liked the repair. Please subscribe and leave a like and feel free to comment if you have any questions or if you don't have the confidence to do the repair yourself. Spare parts and tools can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video on All Smart Repair.